Hey there, drone fans. Rick here again from Drone Valley. In today's video, I'd like to present a buyer's guide for the brand new DJI Mini 4 Pro drone. Because I've been flying this drone for the last couple of months, ever since it was released, and I've had a chance to fly it an awful lot and really test all the features that make this an amazing drone. And in my opinion, this could very well be the best drone flying today for new flyers that are looking to join the hobby, or even experienced flyers that are looking for a smaller drone that makes it easy to take it on vacation, but still captures some incredibly good footage and some amazing pictures. And this drone's got it all. Now, whenever I'm asked about drones, usually the questions I get fall into one of three categories. The first category has to do with the drone itself. People want to know how far can it fly, how long can it fly, how fast can it fly, so technology around the actual airframe. So I'll answer those questions first and go over the specifications. The second category has to do with the camera system because one of the reasons you're buying a drone like this with a camera on it is to capture some incredibly good footage. So people want to know how good is the camera in the drone because when I put it up to 200 feet, I want to capture some incredible footage of a forest or a river or flying over a property. It's an amazing drone in that category as well. And then the third category has to do with special features that really enhance your flying experience because drones used to be a very basic tool. You'd put it up in the air, you'd fly it around, you'd take some pictures and some video, and then you have to land it. But in recent years, DJI has built a tremendous amount of automation into the drone where you can do things automatically based on artificial intelligence and machine learning that really enhance your flying experience tremendously. And the Mini 4 Pro has got some of the most amazing technology available today inside this uh, little craft here and it does some pretty cool things in the air so I'll talk about that last but let's start off with the basic specifications and talk a little bit about the airframe so the mini 4 pro is the latest generation of what DJI is calling their sub 250 gram drones so they're ultralight drones that weigh less than 250 grams and that's an important number because if a drone weighs less than 250 grams in the United States you won't have to worry about registering it with the FAA which makes it a lot simpler to get up there and fly in other parts of the world if it's under 200 50 grams you're probably not restricted with insurance and testing and a lot of other things that come with heavier drones so having a smaller drone like this just makes it a whole lot easier for the average flyer to get up in the air and enjoy flying a drone it also means it's incredibly portable now this drone is tiny I've compared it before to a can of soda or a cell phone when you fold this up it really is about the same size as one of your sneakers so imagine going on vacation and having this in your bag it takes up very little space and you've got this amazing flying robot with an incredibly good camera system on the front of it that you can take with you pretty much anywhere and the adage I like to, uh, to talk about a lot is What's the best drone out there on the market today? It's the one you have with you. And I know we've used that before with cameras, but having a drone that's small like this, that you can take with you everywhere, means you're gonna capture a lot more footage and have a lot more fun flying when you're on vacation. So under 250 grams. The drone itself, depending on which battery you're using, can fly for 34 minutes on a full charge or up to 45 minutes on a full charge. And that's one of the options that DJI provides for the Mini 4 Pro. You can get two styles of battery, the standard battery and the plus battery, and you can decide which of those you'd like to use. Now, the only caveat there is the plus battery does put the weight over 250 grams, but it gives you up to 45 minutes of flight time. So it's up to you which battery you decide to use, but I love the fact that DJI offers two batteries to give you that choice. Now, what you're looking at here is the Fly More combination, which includes the charging hub as well. So this charging hub will charge up to three batteries in series from a single charger. So it makes it a little easier to charge your batteries. The other option you have is a choice between controllers. There's the standard DJI RCN2, which is the one you'll use with your phone or your tablet. So you can basically clamp your tablet or phone in the top, you'll connect it up to the controller, and you'll run the application on your phone or your tablet. You also have the option of using the DJI RC2, which has an integrated screen. I like the one with the integrated screen because it means I charge the controller, or I charge the drone, and I can head out and start flying. With this one, I've got to charge the controller, make sure my phone or tablet is charged. I've got to connect it up through a uh, cable onto the controller. I have to make sure the application is updated. With this one, all of that's done automatically. But again, the choice is yours. You can use the uh, one with the integrated controller or you can use the one with your phone. Both of them work about the same and they'll give you the same feature sets with the drone. All right, so you can fly 34 minutes or 45 minutes, which by the way, is an incredibly long time to have a drone up in the air. I mean, a couple of years ago, a drone would fly for maybe 18 or 20 minutes. You'd have to land it, change out the battery and put it back up. So having a drone up in the air for up to 45 minutes, it just seems unnatural to me that it can fly that long, but it's a combination of the weight of the drone and the energy density and the batteries, but that's a long time to have it up in the air. 
The next question you might have is how far can you fly the drone? Because you want to make sure you've got an incredibly strong signal between the drone and your controller. Because one of the biggest fears of new flyers is that the drone is going to lose the connection with the controller and just take off towards the horizon. Well, with the Mini 4 Pro, it's using a proprietary DJI technology called O4, which is OcuSync 4, which is in constant communication between the drone and the controller, and it's also checking the frequencies that they're communicating over, and it's got the strongest frequency where it's talking. If that frequency gets busy or it gets noisy, it already knows what the next strongest frequency is, and it'll hop to that frequency. So that, that relationship between the drone and the controller is based on that O4 technology, and that guarantees you're going to have a rock-solid signal, and you can actually find this drone physically up to 20 kilometers away. Now, in the United States, we have a visual line of sight requirement, which means you can't really fly it further than you can see it, but knowing you can fly 20 kilometers with that O4 technology means you're going to have a rock solid signal in close when you're flying behind buildings or behind a tree for a minute, and you're never going to have to worry about breaking that connection. So, using O4 technology gives you that solid connection. Another thing the O4 technology does is provides a live feed from the drone in 1080p resolution back to your controllers. So you're actually watching exactly what the drone can see through the camera. So imagine flying out over a lake, you'll know exactly what the framing and the shot is like because you've got that live feed coming back from the camera. All of that's possible because of that OcuSync 4 technology. So you've got long flight times, you've got long flight distance, you've got a lot of other technology built in to make the drone incredibly safe. Starting with its crash avoidance, the drone itself has 360 degree obstacle avoidance, which is a first for a smaller drone like this. And it does that because it's got dual cameras on the front, binocular vision on the front, binocular vision behind. It's got uh, views of either side, so if you're cruising through a forest, it knows where the trees are. It's using a 3D laser system on the bottom in addition to a camera, so it's really built to be smarter than the average flyer when you put it up in the air, because you're gonna be out there flying, and I'm telling you, you're gonna get so excited when you get into a situation. You might get a little too close to a tree or a wall. The drone's gonna protect you and it's gonna pull back, but before it pulls back, it's gonna make a lot of noise on the controller, so you know when you get close to something, you're gonna start hearing a beep on the controller and you can either manually pull it back or if you continue to go forward and you're going to crash into something, the drone takes charge and pulls you back from that, that risky place that you're heading into. Another cool feature with the drone that has to do with its physicality is a technology called APAS, which is Advanced Pilot Assistance System, which is built into the drone. And this is where the artificial intelligence comes in. That software actually looks at the area around the drone in a 360 degree view, and it's looking for solid objects, and it's also looking for holes between those solid objects. So when you fly the drone into a very complex environment, it already knows where the holes are that it can fit through between those solid objects, and it will find those holes and cruise through them. So you can essentially fly this into a heavily wooded area, and the drone is gonna fly through those trees, find the gaps, and actually navigate itself. So it's, it's incredibly hard to crash this drone. You'd really have to go out of your way to crash the drone with those two features turned on. So it flies far, it flies long, it's got great uh, obstacle avoidance built in. So as a flyer, that's everything you could ask for in a drone. The other thing that's really nice is the boot up time is really quick. So you can basically start up the drone, start up the controller and have it up in the air in less than 60 seconds, which can be really nice because if you're on vacation, you may pull over to the side of the road and you wanna get some video of a lake nearby. You don't wanna spend 10 minutes waiting for the drone to come up. So it's got GPS coordination built into it. It knows exactly where it is. And more importantly, it knows where its home point is. So when you take off from your home point, the drone will fly as long as you wanna fly it but it's also got intelligence built in that if you're not paying attention to the battery levels and the battery starts to get a little bit low, the drone will actually take over control, elevate to a height that you've set in the application, spin to face your home point, fly right back where it took off and land pretty much where you took off. So it's got return to home built in. You can also trigger the return to home by hitting a button on the controller. So those kind of safety features are really important, especially for new flyers, because it's gonna take you a little while to get comfortable with the drone. And knowing that the drone is incredibly smart and it's constantly watching things like obstacles that it's going to avoid or battery levels in case it gets in trouble really gives you peace of mind that you can fly it and not have to worry about it. All right, so let's talk about the camera and imaging system next because this drone has a very sophisticated camera built in. A lot of drones that are small like this have very small sensors on them and they don't really have an advanced imaging system. This one has a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor up front, which is a gigantic sensor for a drone of this size. But more importantly, it's got a very sophisticated imaging package as well because collecting the information from that sensor is one thing, but then getting that information back to the processor 
happens over a bus inside the unit, this can deliver that information back at 150 megabits a second, which is just like DSLR speeds. And again, more importantly, the imaging processor inside can handle that imaging and then turn out crisp videos and incredibly good pictures. It's got HDR built in, it's got all kinds of 10-bit uh, D log M. So you've got every kind of imaging uh, technology or sophisticated technology that you need inside of a drone. And again, you won't find that on a lot of other drones. A lot of other drones are using smaller sensors, a lot simpler imaging packages. So what you're going to get from this is incredibly good video and incredibly crisp pictures. It also has a night mode built in, which will actually flatter low light situations where a lot of other drones fall apart because they get a lot of noise in the picture. This one can actually discern between dark and light spots, even under really low light conditions. So the imaging package is absolutely astounding in this. It can record 4K video at up to 60 frames a second or up to 100 frames a second, as well as 1080p, 2.7. So all of the frame rates you want and resolutions you want, you can record with this drone, which means you've essentially got a DSLR camera strapped to a balloon that you're controlling with these remotes. I mean, it's an incredibly smart robot that can deliver some incredibly good footage. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the sophistication built in from an application perspective or an intelligence perspective. So DJI has been in the AI business for quite some time. Actually, the AI that controls the crash avoidance is one of their first major developments. They were way ahead of the curve with that. But once you get the drone, in the old days, you would fly it and you'd be totally responsible for where it went, what kind of imaging it took, and what kind of framing you had. And over time, you could get better flying the drone. And one of the basic things you'll want to do is find a point of interest and then circle that point of interest with the drone while you're keeping the focus on that point of interest. And as a pilot, you're going to get better at that, and I'm sure you can do it manually if you fly a little bit and practice it. But those kind of features are built into the drone as automated flight patterns. So you've got a couple of choices when you put it into Quick Shots, which is one of the technologies built in, where you can tap a button on the remote, and the drone will find a point of interest you've identified and circle that and film it. You can also use another one of the quick shots to fly away from that point of interest by tapping another button or zooming in past it and then past in front of it and then spinning around. This actually has 360 degree active track, which means I can focus on an image like me on a skateboard going down a highway and have the drone fly to the side of me and keep me in the frame while it's avoiding other obstacles. So the sophistication built in from an application perspective is absolutely amazing. You can also do things like hyperlapse on this. So you can create a beautiful shot where it takes a bunch of pictures, sews them together, and it makes it look like a day to night kind of a situation. Or if you've got fast moving objects like on a highway or in a harbor, it'll create some incredibly good footage there. Other things you can do with this are a technology called master shots. Now master shots will actually use pre-programmed flight modes inside the drone to create a beautiful shot of you on a bridge or on a landscape where it actually flies away, it'll focus on you, and there's a bunch of different choices there. All of these are explained in the manual. And my point about talking about these particular features is that you're not just buying a flying robot that's controlled by the joysticks. I mean, you can fly it to your heart's content with the joysticks, but knowing I've got sophistication built in where I've got pre-programmed flight modes and I've got the ability to hit a button and capture that shot does a couple of things for me. Number one, if I'm a new flyer, it gives me a way to put together some amazing footage and send it off to my friends. You look like a professional director, but it's also good for somebody that's a seasoned pilot like me because a lot of times I'll be out, I've only got a few minutes to get the shot I want because the sun's going down, there's ducks on the lake, I can hit a button and have it do that shot for me automatically and save me a lot of time. So the automation built in, the special features, the advanced functionality, the artificial intelligence, the machine learning that went into this is almost like a supercomputer that's up there in the air behind your imaging system doing all the work for you just by tapping a few buttons. And the last thing I'll mention is once you've recorded that footage, you've got to edit that footage. Now for the average consumer, you've got to have an editing package where you're going to go in and you're going to sort of chop up the video and try to find the interesting parts, put them together. You can get a product that comes with it called Lightcut, which is a software editing program that has intelligence built in as well. So it'll go through the footage you've shot, find the interesting shots. You can either identify those or it'll identify them for you. Sew those together with templates and transitions between those shots and even add music to it to turn out a professional video with a couple of clicks on your, on your uh, display or on your actual application. So what DJI's done here with this product is they've created a sub 250 gram drone 
that flies for up to 45 minutes. It can fly up to 20 kilometers away. It's got a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor on the front, which captures incredibly good footage and amazing pictures. It has obstacle avoidance in 360 degrees, which means, again, you're going to have a hard time crashing this. It's got automation features built in for safety. So if something happens to the drone or you get low on battery power, it's going to fly back and land to protect the drone. And it has a ton of automation built in to make you an amazing pilot the first day you put the drone up. So everything you could want in a drone is in this. And again, it's in a package that's smaller than a can of soda, which means you're gonna be taking it more places than you would with a larger drone. And that's pretty much all I had for today. I like this drone an awful lot and I fly a lot of different drones. This has fast become the main drone I go to whenever I'm heading out, either on vacation or with friends, or if I'm doing professional work, I like it an awful lot. And I think you're going to like it a lot as well. So thanks an awful lot for watching. I hope you found this review helpful. And until next time, as always, happy flying.